the world's first AI software engineer is here. Welcome to AI Product Builder. The tech world is buzzing about Devin, the first ever fully autonomous AI software engineer created by a company called Cognition. This could change how software development is done and is as a huge leap for artificial intelligence. So what exactly is Devin? Skilled AI teammate that can build software along human engineers or independently completely entire coding task on its own with advanced reasoning and planning capabilities. Devin can take massively complex engineering projects, require thousands of decisions. It can recall relevant context at every step, learn continuously, and even fix its own mistakes as it goes. It has a, Devin has essentially been given all the tools a human software engineer would use, code editors, command line, web browsers, and more within all secure sandbox environment. Let's see what Devin capabilities are, right? To give you a sense of what Devin can do, let's walk through some examples of cognition showcase. Is Devin can learn new technology just by reading tutorials and blog posts. Here is an example of the, how Devin can read about control net, a new AI model, and use it in a model to generate images with concealed messages. Pretty cool, right? Devin can also build apps entirely from scratch. In this case, it creates an interactive website that simulates Conway's game of life, adding new features incrementally based on the user's request before deploying the full app. Devin just doesn't build new codes. It can also automatically fix its own bugs in existing projects. Here you can see Devin solving an issue in an open source book on a competitive programming by understanding the context, reproducing the bug, coding the fix, and verifying how it works. So incredibly, Devin can recursively improve its own capabilities. In, the in this example, it sets up a full pipeline of fine-tuned large language model using a GitHub repo, automating a usually complex process. So clearly, Devin can handle a lot of different coding tasks, but just how capable is it? The Cognition team evaluated Devin on challenging benchmark called SWE Bench that tests AI on resolving real issues from open source projects like Django, or scikit-learn. So the results were actually staggering. Devin correctly resolved nearly 14% of these issues entirely on its own, from understanding the problem to coding the fix and verifying how it works. This may not sound that high, but it absolutely shatters the previous state of the art performance of under 2%. To put it another way, prior AI models could only resolve about 5% of the issues, even when they're explicitly told which files needed to be edited. So Devin starts from scratch and still resolves almost triple the amount of issues fully autonomously. It's an incredible achievement for the team. So how does the future look like? Devin represents a huge leap in AI's capability taking on completely open-ended coding in software development tasks. For the first time, we are getting more than just glimpses of truly autonomous AI assistance for skilled labor. Imagine having a teammate like Devin that can understand your requirements, working independently alongside you, continuously learning and improving and boosting productivity by taking on routine coding tasks so you can focus on bigger things. Of course, the implication of such kind of technology spark all sorts of questions and debates around the human software rules and the risk of autonomous AI coding that we'll need to wrestle with but that's not denying this is an existing milestone that hints a reasoning AI's vast potential across all sorts of discipline. Coding is just the beginning. So I would love to hear your thoughts. What most excites or concerns you about AI software engineers like David? How else could this kind of autonomous reasoning AI be applied? Let me know in the comments. And please go through all the videos. They're amazing. It's unbelievable what an AI autonomous agent like Devin can do. Thank you and see you on the next video.